what stance to adopt to facilitate remote management. Here are a few excerpts from the course. A first excerpt on qualities of a remote manager. Empowering your employee means letting go of the reins. Follow-up continues, but it has to be adult to adult. I will no longer call it control, but follow-up, concerted and reciprocal. Indeed, the remote worker has as much need to monitor what is happening in the office as you and your colleagues need to monitor the progress of the telecommuter's work. Younger generations tell their boss, I don't work for you, I work with you. This statement fits in well with the telecommuting culture and it requires actual empowerment of the telecommuter. How can you make your team more responsible? A second excerpt on cultivating a positive outlook. Here is an example of a sequence of the three filters. Selection. You notice that your employee, Alan, did not turn in a file on time. At that moment, you do not select the fact that a client called you about him to tell you that he was satisfied. No, you select the delay of the file, first filter. Distortion interpretation. According to your references, you will interpret this delay. You can tell yourself, for example, that Alan ran out of time, or that he is not interested in his task, or that he has personal problems that prevent him from focusing. Second filter. Generalization. If you have interpreted that he has run out of time, you can generalize as follows. Alan is overwhelmed. If you have interpreted that he is not interested in his task, you can generalize as follows. He is demotivated. If you have interpreted that he has personal problems that prevent him from focusing, you will deduce that his personal life is polluting his work. So, third filter, generalization. We put on three pairs of glasses that transform reality and make us act. A third excerpt on signs of acknowledgement. In the 1960s, Robert Rosenthal and Leonor Jacobson organised a false IQ test in a school. The teachers were told that some children were smarter than others. The following term, those randomly selected students made the greatest progress. The teachers' attention towards them, their certainty that the child had every capacity to progress, did indeed make them progress. Signs of acknowledgement reinforce negative or positive results. By telling someone that they are creative, they will develop their creativity. By telling someone they are a good for nothing, they risk becoming one. By ignoring the advice of your employees, they will no longer cultivate good ideas and will confine themselves to doing their work repeatedly. Some companies are now complaining about resistance to transformation and the lack of innovation of their teams. For years, their spirit of initiative has been locked up and their opinions ignored. It can take time to reverse the trend by giving back signs of acknowledgement to teams. Want to know more? We are delighted to accompany you on the course The Stance of the Remote Manager. See you soon.